Hello, hello, this is Brian with Zenco Survival. I'm back today and I'm going to be doing a review for you guys on something I normally don't do reviews on. You know, camp towels, you know, are a pretty common item. Some people carry them, some people don't, but more than often people carry them. I mean, they're made by everybody. You can get camp towels made by Sea to Summit, you can make, get camp towels made by um, Snug Pack, you can get, everyone has their own camp towel because they are something that a lot of people carry. Um, they're fairly lightweight, they um, give you the ability to, to dry off out in the wilderness, you know, stuff like that. So, as far as kind of common items go, can towels fall, fall into that category of pretty much most, well most people have a camp towel of some size. Some people prefer smaller, some people prefer larger. So I don't normally do reviews on you know, items like that because most people already have their favorites and they aren't looking to buy one, they're more, you know, they already have one. But I decided after owning this one for several years and using it exclusively as my camp towel for that period of time and I will not be buying another one because I'm just too happy with this one, um, I decided, you know what, it deserves its own review video. So basically, this is the Friendly Swede camp towel. Uh, let's see if I can give you the picture here. There you are. Friendly Swede. Um, I did buy this one because it is a company I trust. It is one that I do like and I am a fan of the Friendly Swede and I will not apologize for that. So I went ahead and I picked up their camp towel. Now I purchased the two pack. At the time this was running about $30 because it was one of their newer products um, in this size. Now I did pick up the extra large because I'm a fan of having a full-size towel. I, you know, that's just me. I, when my wife and I go out camping, there are times when we will, you know, bathe and there's really no facilities around and there are other people. So I wanted to make sure that she had a towel that she could cover up with, that I wanted that I could cover up with and, you know, have a good full-sized camping towel. And that's what I picked up here. Um, let me go ahead and start unrolling it for you guys here. It is a large camping towel, you know, full size, and um, I actually really like it. Now, this is the blue. This particular one came in a two-pack, a blue and a gray. Um, I'm showing you guys the blue because um, a lot of camp towels have a problem with running, where you'll wash it and the color will, will come out. This particular towel is... I can't even remember how old it is. I mean, this thing, I've had this for a long time. And it's been through several washes. And it still has its color. So, I have not had a problem with it running. Um, some people might have, I don't know. But, <clears throat> overall, it is a great little product from Friendly Sweet. Now, it does have a hanging loop here. Where instead of hanging it by the corner, which I find annoying. Because then you've got this big, long towel hanging all the way down. This one hangs from the center. So basically, from the center of the towel, you have your little hanging loop. So when you grab it, and you open it up, it takes up much less space um, than most of your camp towels do. Let me go ahead and fold this back up here for you. Um, now I've been out, been out camping in a while, but this is my go-to towel. My wife and I love it. As far as, now one of the big things about camp towels, especially people who might be watching this because they're looking to buy one, is people want it to feel like a regular towel and it's not going to. I'm just gonna tell you that right now. This will not feel like a regular towel. Um, it's basically a microfiber, really, really large microfiber cloth. And its edges, I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see it. His edges are sewn, you know, hemmed. Um, so essentially, it's just a big microfiber cloth. Now, if you want to kind of get an idea for what this feels like before you buy one, you can go down to Walmart or any auto store, buy yourself a little microfiber chamois, and dry yourself off with it. Um, that's what it's gonna feel like when you use this. Now, this is just a lot bigger. I've found the best way to use this to dry off, rather than trying to wipe like you do a regular towel, is to take it and just dab it 
and get the water off that way. You know, you wrap it around yourself and you just kind of dab to get the water to get the water off. It will get you dry, very dry. Um, <clears throat> and the benefit of these towels are they take very little time to dry themselves. So, say you were camping in a spot for a couple of days, you could easily hang this up in an hour to dry. Um, I've never had to take much longer than an hour to actually dry off completely, but let's say for example you're at a camping site you're going to be moving on and you don't have time to sit and hang it up after your morning bath or shower or whatever it is you happen to be doing most of the time now i want to kind of clarify before i get into it most of the time they'll advertise stick it back in the carrying bag and it will dry on its own while you're hiking the previous towel that i had advertised that and it didn't you'd put it back in the bag and it would stay wet um, for a very long time. This one doesn't seem to do that. Um, it takes a bit longer to dry this way, but it does dry. Typically, by the end of the day, I don't have to worry about it. It's, it's completely dried. But basically, this has a net all the way around. Nice, big, wide net, 360 degrees around. Um, you just put it back in the carrying case, cinch it back down, I just take and I use this and kind of hang it off my bag. Um, sometimes I'll take, wrap it through one of the loops and wrap it through that way so that it hangs kind of like this. But you can use a carabiner or anything you want, happen to have on hand. But um, I find that it actually does dry this way because it is a 360 degree net. And it's a very nice high quality net too. I don't know how we're gonna be able to see it, but you, I hope you can see the detail a little bit. It is a high quality net. Now I've had the same bag for since I bought this bag or this um, towel, and I've, as you can see, it's it's not none of the seams are coming undone. Um, I don't have any threads popping. The net isn't getting loose and fraying, so it's a good quality bag, and I really like that. And it does dry out the towel while I'm while I'm hiking. It doesn't dry down in an hour, but it will dry out long before I need it again. Where I've had other towels prior to this one where I've hiked all day, got to where I was going, went to take my shower in the morning and it was still wet, it was still damp. Um, this one I have not had that problem with. Now again, this is the Friendly Swede camp towel. Um, this is gonna be a fairly short review because it's a towel. Um, my overall rating on this thing is going to be a five out of five. Material is fantastic. The um, color has not run on me, which is also really good. The bag they give you is extremely durable. I have not had any problems with it whatsoever. It holds up to its claims about its drying times and its ability to um, dry while inside of the carrying bag itself. And I like the extra detail they went into with this particular bag, like the, the sewing around the outside edges to keep it from fraying. That's all good quality, haven't had a problem with that. Um, and the hanging loop being in the center rather than on one corner. That way when you actually hang it up, it, you know, it hangs down maybe three feet instead of six feet, you know, that kind of thing. At least with the big towels, that's always been a problem. Um, it's the ones that hang from the corner always hang down and end up rubbing it across the ground unless you hang them way up there. So, <clears throat> overall, I really do like this towel. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, you know, as always, I'm going to try to find some affiliate links for you guys, put in the, in the description so you don't have to hunt it down on Amazon. Um, so check out the description and uh, see if you guys can find it or uh, see if I've got a link for you guys down there. Um, I know I'm saying I'm a lot, but you know, it's a towel. It's kind of hard to do a review on this, why so I don't really review stuff like this. But <clears throat> a, or a plus out of my, my opinion, five stars, absolutely fantastic. Um, I've put a lot of use on this towel. I've done, you know, years worth of camping with this towel and never had a problem with it. So. It's my favorite towel, and I will not be replacing it. As long as I don't need to, I'm not going to. I'm really happy with this one. So, there you go. The Friendly Swede Camp Towel, uh, Pack Towel, whatever you want to call it. There you are. As always, if you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you guys, and have a good one. Bye-bye.